guys welcome back to my channel my name is Becca if you're new here and today's video is kind of fun because I was trying to figure out like what would be a good recipe to share with you guys with Thanksgiving coming up I am not one who is like very talented or gifted in the kitchen but I want people to kind of think I am but I want easy and simple and delicious so I have a dump and go crock pot sweet potato casserole my mother-in-law has made this for a few years now and it's always a huge hit so i'm so excited to share it with you guys i'm gonna go show you the ingredients now all right so here are the ingredients i believe the only thing missing is some milk which i'll add here in a little bit but i don't have this recipe like a pinterest recipe i'll have everything typed down below but if you happen to know where to find this recipe and have a link for me, please let me know so I can link it for you guys. But you can do either fresh um, sweet potatoes or you can do the canned. And I am a big fan of simple and easy and buying the canned saved me a lot of time and it's gonna taste just as good. So I think I'm gonna end up having to buy or use one of these and then one of the smaller cans. So I'll let you know. Then some chopped pecans, some butter. I'm not gonna need the whole two sticks, but I am gonna need more than one, so I went ahead and had two out. Some coconut flakes, some vanilla extract, some sugar, some brown sugar, some flour, some eggs, and that's it. Let's get started. I am going to start out by adding three cups of sweet potatoes a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of milk, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and half a cup of softened butter. And then I'm gonna add my two eggs and I'm going to mix this up very well until it gives me a very nice fluffy consistency. Once that is at the right consistency, I'm going to set it aside and get another bowl. And I'm going to add one cup of packed brown sugar, one third cup of some softened butter, one third cup of flour. I'm going to add one cup of my chopped pecans. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of my coconut flakes. And I'm just going to mix this up until it's a very nice crumbly consistency. Now I'm just going to add that sweet potato mixture into the bottom of the crock pot and then I'm going to top with that yummy topping that I just made. And here is a fun tip. So if you are having a larger crowd, this recipe can be super easily doubled. You just double all the ingredients and then at this step, instead of just putting the stuff, the crumble on top, make it like a lasagna and put it in the middle and then on the top. That way people at the end of the line still get some of that yummy crumbly top as well. At this point you're either going to cook it on high for two hours or low for four hours and that's it. It's ready to serve. so that's going to be it for today's video i hope that you enjoyed and if you do try this recipe please let me know let me know how you like it if it was easy for you all the details if you have not already i would love it if you would like this video subscribe to my channel it helps me out so much i pray that god blesses you all and that you'll have a great rest of your week and i will see you in my next one bye <music>